All right, so let's talk about this real quick. What is the end result that we're looking for with this system? Well, what we want is between the functions of IFTTT, Craigslist, and your Gmail account, what you want is to log into your Gmail account, you know, every day or whenever you schedule for yourself. And when you open it up, what you see are only the leads that are a close match to the kind of real estate deals you're looking for. And the way you get it there is, again, a couple things. You, you dial in IFTTT with the right keywords that you're looking for and the right criteria. And then based on those search results and based on the emails that you're getting in your Gmail account, you must further refine those searches by ruling out the ones that don't work. Now, that's really the most complicated part of this whole system because I can't tell you which ones to rule out. It's solely based on the results you get in your Gmail account and your market because you might find, I mean, there's all kinds of reasons you might want to rule something out. It could be just something that's completely outside of your search criteria. It could be that uh, somebody's putting postings in the wrong area of Craigslist, or it could be the wrong kind of seller. It could be, you know, a consultant, a wholesaler, a realtor, a middleman, a lender, any kind of people. When you get those ads, you want to somehow find the word inside those uh, results in your Craigslist account and rule those out. But you're just looking for those private seller deals. If you're anything like me, you know, you're looking for just those deals for private sellers. So you got to constantly refine those search results. Now, it doesn't take that long to do. Once you set up all your keywords in ifttt.com, you're going to get a lot of results back in your Gmail account. Now, it, it honestly, you're probably going to get a lot of junk, but you gotta you gotta refine those results. The good thing is, once you rule out a keyword using your Google filter, you're you're done. You only have to do that one time for that particular keyword. And, and you know, once you rule out, you know, I'm I'm looking at a page here. You know, once you rule out, uh, I don't know. For for instance, I I see this one here that's in Northeast Hall County. That's that's a a county near Atlanta, near my market. Once I rule out all the listings in Hall County, I'll never get them again. So you only have to do that one time. So just think about it as a little bit of a process, a refining process that you have to go through on the back end. It might take you a week or maybe two weeks to really get it where you're getting dialed in search results. But uh, it'll kind of be a never ending process, but it'll get more and more and more refined uh, and then on the back end, you know, instead of having, you know, a high number of uh, listings that you're ruling out, you're just going to have some stragglers popping through every once in a while that you have to create new filters for. But by and large, the vast majority of the results you're going to get are only those from the kind of sellers who have the kind of real estate properties that you're looking for. So that's the end result that you're working towards that you just open up your Gmail account and you have a small number of listings that are very, very close to the kind of criteria you're looking for, you're interested in, and uh, that's it. That's what we're working towards here. That's the end result of your system. That's all for this lesson. Let's move on and talk about some final things and then I'm gonna leave it with you. We'll talk about that next.